Hi everyone, I'm Sobo Muschik. Uh, welcome to my Shoreline studio uh, in beautiful British Columbia. And today we're doing a lesson for a couple of equestrian people uh, who had an auction and they won the auction bid. I donate um, lessons every year for this kind of thing. And today we're going to be de demonstrating um, a variety of exercises and uh, we'll see how they make out. And uh, we are going to start with circles. And I've got all my paints in front. I have my gel plate. And uh, it comes in a um, case like this. As you can see, it has instructions on the bottom. And it came with a couple of plastic sheets that I got rid of. Anyway, we're going to put that aside. And I always keep my plate on a nice plexiglass plate and I've rounded the edges. I bought a big sheet and then uh, my hubby cut it up and uh, so I have all these nice sheets. And it can be used as a stamp as well, like for putting down on if you want. It's easier with maybe with some of the little ones, but I can do it with this one as well. This is a um, 8 by 10 I think. So and no fuzzles. Sometimes things in the atmosphere stick to the <laughs> plate and you want to get rid of that. So, so I'm going to start with uh, circles and f what the first thing we're going to do is just put some paint on the on the plate and uh, just a little bit goes a long way, right? So, and that should almost be enough. This, uh, my paints that I'm using today is uh, Quinacridone uh, Nickel Azure Gold, the uh, Golden Open Paints. Good stuff. Probably the best. I think there's other open paints on the market, but I'm not aware of them. So, so you roll out your ink on the plate, as you can see. You don't need a lot to, for coverage. And the nice part about this ink is that it lasts a long time on your plate without drying up. Now usually I brayer off onto another sheet of paper and when you brayer off sometimes uh, with all the different colors, it also adds up as a beautiful print, right? So that way you clean your brayer and you might have something else to work with. So we're doing circles, right? So I have some um, tools and it could be circles, part circles. And uh, maybe a bit of string. Push that down with something else. I don't know what yet. Um, we'll just use this. So we'll make more circles. Push that down. And we can put circles on there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And maybe, um, oh, pass me that little cup. And uh, oh, that's cute. Thank you. And we'll make circles with that. So you can, the circles you're doing, you can, you know, they don't have to touch each other. They can go off the, the page. And I think we've kind of got it together here, maybe a little bit more. The other thing you can do is um, take something like this, roll out a bit of a different color, maybe we'll do some manganese blue. This is a another, it's not a gel plate, but it's uh, it's made of silicone and it's handy for like a little palette on the side. 
So okay, so I'm just going to see what happens when they stamp that on here and there. So just random, you don't have to think about this, this is very straightforward. <laughs> just have fun with it, that's the most important thing. You're learning a process. Well, it looks not too bad, so we can brayer off again. It's kind of looking kind of interesting already on there. Is the roller called a brayer? Yes. That's why you say brayer. Brayer, yes. We could take this off. I don't know if it's made much difference, but... Now we'll talk about registration later. My, I have my plate uh, marked out so that you have interesting even, you can see it on your own plate. Yeah. And I'm going to line up my paper with the top of my plexiglass base. And I'm just going to rub the top. I can use a, a baren or a baron. It's a Japanese tool for doing uh, wood cuts. Let's see, you can take a peek and see how well it's mm. printed, mm. and it looks pretty good. Oh, wow. All right, so our first monotype. Very cool. cool. Yeah. So you can see how much fun they are, right? So. All right, so now we go to the ghost print. And I've used yellow paper deliberately, of course, because uh, otherwise the background where we've lifted the paint off, where we've removed paint, is white. Has the, has the first is, print got a name? I mean, the second, is the second the ghost? The ghost, yeah, it's just, just the print. Right. <laughs> the first print. I'm not sure there's a formal name for it. Again, I'll rub it quite hard in this case because there's less paint on the plate. And again, take a peek and see if you're getting it all. If your edges are nice. Oops, with a little corner here I'm missing. So just make sure we've got that. And sometimes a ghost print is more beautiful. Mm. This is a ta-da moment. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll leave it to you. So take a color that you like. I have a brand new box of paints here. I also have the ones I've got here. I'm actually going to print this and see what happens if we from this plate. It's really, because this is open paint, it might not have dried yet. This is just uh, acrylic then? It's acrylic, but it's a special paint and it's called open acrylic, which means that it's fluid a little bit longer. So if you're working, say, plein air out in the field, your paint doesn't dry quite so fast. It works more like an oil paint. All right. So that printed not too bad, you can see just from that little plate as well. So yeah. uh, these are locally at the um, stationery store. So you can work with these. And they also have, I think, open paints there. And there's, you can order them online. Good old Amazon, right? Can I, can I brayer off on this a bit of paper? Uh, you have all sorts of paper here for braying off, so. That's really a good sheet for for your oh, look at your print. Yeah. And I'm not even gonna clean that, I'm going to just leave it for now. Oops. Uh, some people never clean their plates because the bits and pieces that are left over are uh, these lovely accidentals that are in the background. Yeah. Mind you, they always make sure that the underside is clean because it's got to stay on the plate and it might get anything that is on there for too long 
will actually impress into the gel plate and that's not a good thing so right. so the top is fine but not the base okay so do i need a little bit more on here no i think you're fine perfect yeah so now um here i'll give this back you can clean that up with a little bit of paper towel if you like Ooh, corks oh, oh yes <laughs> always fun stuff happening Oh, yeah. Yes, either end is, yeah. will be fun. Yeah. So we can just circle away. Yes, circle away. You can draw them as well with this tool. Oh, yeah. With your painting knife. We're circling. We're circling. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, I've left um, some, yeah. Can I add another colour? Yes, of course. Where can I blob my other colour? Here? Yes, yes, just, just as I showed you. Um, yeah. If you're getting close to the end, say it's the last thing you want to put on there, you can try the silver. It, it dries quite quickly. This one? Oh. Yes, mm, but it so gives a nice bad. touch, so put that on last. And you do have to brayer. There's little brayers right there for that kind of purpose. Okay, the little baby bumps. Yeah. Because otherwise you'll have a glob on your on your gel plate. You'd need to brayer them off. And use this one. I think there's another thing. A couple in here. I've got a little one. I think I got this at Michael's. <laughs> so. so you can share those. If you need to clean anything, a spritz of water, which you have in front of you, and a little bit of paper towel usually works fine. If it's stubborn, um, the Purell, uh, it's got a bit of alcohol in it, will clean anything off including your brayer. If your brayer is starting to get messy, even though you've brayered it off on your sheet, then, uh, or you want to make sure your paint is clean, then, uh, you know, use that. Also, baby wipes work. I'm sort of going off baby wipes because they're not very good in the environment. They don't break down very easily. No, not nappies. So, not nappies, you don't call them. Nappies. <laughs> um, I know what you're Yes. Diapers. Diapers, yes. Diaper. That's a prayer off on your... Oh, and one thing, uh, always put your prayers upright this way. I remember that from last time. Yes, I know. I did and Chyler something. did it automatically. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking. <laughs> have, have you ever done um, printmaking before? Remember a nice combination of large and small. Do you want Oops. one of the texture tools? I haven't cleaned this one off yet, but I will. Now remember not to take too long, even though these are open paints, they will dry eventually, so. I think I'm happy with mine. All right, then print. On this one? Now you can, print, yes, you've got the square paper. You can do white or you can do the yellow, whichever. Okay. Okay, so I'm lining this up. Yes. We're not worried about a second print. If we do a second print, then I will show you how to register it. The gorilla style way. It's, it's a fast method and very effective. If you want to try the yes, Baron, please. yes. What's that called again? Baron or Baron. Yeah.
And then after a while you have just enormous piles of gel plate prints that accumulate and you have to figure out what to do with them. So you. you can put them into journals, you can cut them up for collage, you can make beautiful cards, you can make an installation if you want. So it's all possible. And in many cases, oh nice. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yes, it is. I like it. I like it. Show it to the camera. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Very nice. For a first try, isn't that amazing? It's awesome. Okay. Now do your ghost print. Mm. Yes, we'll pile them up over there oh, on the floor later. I like yours. I don't. Let's see. I don't like mine. I like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I like it. I like how it's not perfect circles. Yes, it's I know. Got a bit of smudgy. Okay, now your ghost print. <laughs> yeah, why have I got that smudgy? Because you used that washer. Hmm. Don't mm. use the washer. Well, why not? Oh, the ghost print. Okay. The ghost print. Yes. No. The, what's interesting often is. Uh, I think I'm going to get a little of mine. Oh, looks like it. And of the. Uh, once the silver dries too, it will have that sheen to it. And there are some subtle variations that I'm not sure that camera can pick up. This very background kind of. You know, this frame ready. I think I probably so will frame that. You should. Actually. It is gorgeous. I quite like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. Something about Just red. It's sort of pinky on there though. It is. I'm like, I'm not normally a pink person. But it's a nice color. It it's is. Sort of a rose, dusty rose. Keep threatening to paint my living room red. <laughs> it's, it's nice. No. No, it's nice in our living room. We have the 1970s panel board in our living room. Mm hmm. And see mine didn't. Ooh, not sure that really is a okay. Ghost. Then you really got it. Up. That's that's fine. We'll use it for something else. Yeah, it'll give you happy accidentals in the background, right? Excellent. So, okay. Now, Sarah, if you're not happy with that one, we can <coughs> put other things on top, right? So okay. it's always fair game. Thanks so much for you know doing this with me today. Oh, it was a pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>